Hey peeps, Phoenix here, and we're continuing slash starting off Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 1, Homestar Ruiner. And in the last episode, we just did the tutorial of the whole game series, and this one, we're going to start a... Yeah, you get okay! <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Okay, everything's good, everything's good. Alright, so, let's go ahead and start this off. Rhino, Rhino Feeder! Oh! I, 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 I was dreaming about muffins. I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow! Time to tear up another day! This strong bad freaking way! Like an imploding star, like a burning car! My style shines so bright! Please, stop trying to handle my style, cause you can't. No, you can't uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style, unless you're a lady. Oh. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style. I'm gonna check my email, my email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strong Bad, I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust, N-E-M, Frenchtown, California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? <laughs> Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. All right, and we're here on the... Oh, I just lost my train of thought. The first episode of Strong Man's Cool Game for Attractive People, Homestar Ruiner. So, oh, one second. Sorry about that, just had to grab my timer. I might have cut that out though, we'll find out. Anywho, let's go ahead and check out the room. Oh, but beforehand, since I didn't- Let's see, now where should I put the track on my map? Oh, yeah, I guess we gotta show that off, don't we? Uh, well, they say... Actually, no one says it. I think it's best we put the track away from home so we get some exercise beforehand. That way he doesn't have to worry about it when he gets there. That must be one heck of a multicolored pencil. But we can go ahead and view our collectibles. And in each episode, there will be new collectibles. And in this case, we gotta find the Teen Girl Squad cars. The Snake Boxer 5 manual pages, and Coach Z trophies. And how much I rule a chart. We gotta find all the costume items, prank call seven people, find all the Teen Girl Squad cards, and the manual pages, and the obscure trophies. Oh yeah, and the whole thing down here? We'll worry about it when we get there. But for now, we are just an academic biathlete. Not pretty cool. What's today? Today's the day I finally give Homestar his long overdue pummeling. Uh, do you say the Today's same thing? The yeah, okay. So if you're playing this on the PC, you can right click and it'll instantly leave a conversation. Let's flip the switch. Intriguing. What happens the second time? Not so intriguing. <laughs> And does he say the same thing? And see. Ooh. Check this out. <laughs> ah, I sometimes get tired of that. It's almost as if the system is down. Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely tired of that. Aw. I put up that sign. But the stupid walls are still loafing all the time! 
Yeah, I got a couch that does the same thing. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. You know, I understand the whole thing of having an unplugged laptop computer. It's annoying because it never lasts long. Ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. That's where I keep discs 1 through 24 of all my favorite games. Wait, is it all Peasant's Quest? My god, that game is a lot longer than I thought it was. Hey, he closed the door on us. Hey, Strong Sam, you in there? Yes. Come on, let me in. I just want to punch you a few hundred times. Not interested. Come on, Strong Sad. I've got your favorite food. Some nasty ethnic food. <laughs> I don't believe in favoring one food over another. That actually is a good way to think. Strong Sad, Raymond Jenkins, you open this <laughs> door right now or I'll, I'll, I'll... You'll what? Oh, we'll just wait till your father gets home and see what he says. You're not even my real mom. Fine. I didn't want to go in your purple room of doom and gloom anyway. I think that's all he says. Strong Sad, yep. you Yeah, I don't know their parent situation between those two, but... This is Charlemagne, Strong Sad's plant. It used to be healthy, but after Strong Sad started talking to it, it decided to kill itself. That's not true. That's not what the note said. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know the situation with the brothers, so we'll just agree that they're brothers. And there's one more, but we won't see him for... Actually, do we see him in this episode? Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Alright. Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine! The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store! It was my turn last time! Wait. There's a store in Free Country, USA? Ew, that mayonnaise is so ancient, its expiration date is chiseled on a stone tablet. Is that, Hit me with your best- uh, okay. I can't use the wavy mic. Its door's stuck shut with nacho entrails and mangled action figures. You know, I've heard about kids that have shoved action figures in a microwave. Is that actually true? I mean, I would believe it, but I don't know. It still sounds kind of far-fetched. I can't use. In fact, do kids even have micro? Or <laughs> do kids have microwaves? <laughs> I meant to say, do kids have action figures anymore? But no, no. I want to know. Do kids have microwaves anymore? I'll do the dishes once our skeet shooty flinger gets fixed. Yeah, oh, oh, I was about to say, is he calling the sink a skeet shooter? But I'll do the then I remembered, wait, a skeet shooter is a real thing. Ooh, melonade! You gotta see it when Strong Mad shotguns one of these things. You know, when I first saw it, I've always wanted to try melonade, but the way they talk about it, it's a, it sounds alcoholic. I have no clue. Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strong Sad's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. <laughs> Sounds like Coach Z has forced another one of his demos onto the world. I thought those subtitles said demons, but same thing. I've had just about enough of that. Let's see what else is in there. Oh joy, it's that copy of Jane's ostentatious chamber music jam. I'd like to use this CD as a chamber pot. Mr. Dawson! Strong Man! Well, there you go. That's the third brother strong. Oh, what's this? The cheat's assorted Latin rhythms. Oh, yeah! We haven't seen the cheat yet. Enough with the music already. God, that's another question I'd like to throw out. Has anyone seen the Kick the Cheat plushie? Because if you have, if you see it on sale anywhere, let me know. I want one so bad. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strong Sad eat a 9-volt po'boy. 
I think they made a game about that. That smoke detect. Sometimes I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing in case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. Um. Strong Bad's one of those kind of people. Let's just leave it at that. I know it's hard to tell from this angle, but the view from here is awesome. Of the bushes? You wouldn't think, since we're on the first floor and everything, but the drop-off from this window is like 20 feet or something. What? Uh, from the first floor? I didn't even know you guys had a window to begin with. You wouldn't think... The Luxa Lounger is even more comfortable in its ridiculously overextended mode. So, the thing with this playthrough, I'm probably not going to be talking as much as I do the other ones because the game talks for itself. And that's the thing with point and click adventure games and why I love it. Everything you do seems to interact with the world in some way. And this is what I miss from Telltale Games. Once The Walking Dead came out, that just seemed to be the formula they went with afterwards. But I love the point-and-click games like this and Sam and Max. I really, really want that of Telltale to come back. Uh, we can dream. The loneliest goat sees the last sunset last. That's a horse. That seems like a meme. When you think about it. The cheat. Watch your freaking back, Squeaky. Man, that's one intimidating hush puppy. <laughs> and we go into here, and we arrive in Strong Bad's game room? I couldn't tell you. It's possible that my bed's under there, but I'm not touching it to find out. Yeah, this is Strong Bad. I sent some Sherpas in there a few weeks ago, but they haven't reported back. It's possible. That's my Videlectrics poster that I got for sending in 10 bucks to become a member of the Videlectrics Good Graphic Kateers. Man, I wish I was around when that sort of thing was huge. When video games were just kind of starting off and they were so massive. And they were so exciting. And I mean, granted, I suppose video games are like that now a little bit. But not as intensely as they were back then in the Atari and NES age. Videlectrics. We use computers to make video games. I don't know why no one else has thought of that. Yeah, I wonder why. Videlectrics. We use... Okay. All right, the Tarantula Black Metal Detector. I had to sell like 500 magazine subscriptions to get this baby, but it was totally worth it to be able to shoot radioactive positrons into the Earth's crust in search of rusty pennies. Man, I remember having a metal detector as a kid. Got excited thinking I'd find treasures until I realized I lived in an area where there really wasn't any digging ground. It was mainly yards, and people would get mad. Ah, the short-lived 7-track. Your lack of a play button was your undoing. Wait, what? That, that seems important. Must punch snakes. Okay, show me that logo. Do, 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 do. Awesome, Snake Boxer 5. So much better than the unfortunate Snake Boxer 4, Lady Snake Parade. <laughs> Alright, so this is another thing we'll see in every episode of the season. Is a little bit of a fun machine game in every episode and the thing is this affects your coolness meter because if you get a specific score you actually get numbers in green which means you did it you win yay I could go ahead and show this off but I can guarantee you I'm not gonna get that score ding ding come on come on come on come on come on, come on. Come on. Where you at? Ow. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Come on. Come on. Come on. Body punch. Come on, Rocky yeah. Balboa. I'm awesome. Or should I say Rocky Balboa Constrictor? No. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, right in the face. Oh, God. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on! Your Cobra style is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch! Upper blow! Come on, come on, come on! Cobra style is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch! All right, Red Cobra. Going down! Going down! Going down! We're getting intense I did not already. just get beat by a stupid snake! Unless it was one of them two headed freak show snakes, then it's an honor. All right, all right, orange. I know orange. I can take orange. Come on, orange! This screen is not big enough for the two of us. Let's get you every match, orange. I'm gonna make some money tonight. Ooh, right in the face! Yeah! Oh God, not pink. Pink saw what I did to his brother, orange. He's just planning his movements. <laughs> oh, ah, crap. I quit. So, yeah, that's good. That was here. awesome. The only thing that could make Snake Boxer 5 even cooler is using that secret code to unlock the game's controversial hidden mode. It's a good thing I wrote down the code in the manual, right? Over. Hey, who took my Snake Boxer 5 manual? Yeah, that uh, little cheat code we'll find will pretty much be how we win that game. Unfortunately, that's not going to be until probably the end of the episode. But what do we have here? You know what I need to add some much needed hua to my day? A little thing I like to call Teen Girl Squad! Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! So-and-so! What's your face? The Ugly One! Okay, gals and gal-related girls, we fit to look so good. Yeah, the same. At the sub JV basketball game tonight, all the cute boy pieces will be there, and maybe sloppy seconds for you. Ew. So yeah, we gonna make a Teen Girl Squad comic. And well, let's see. Plant one on me, basketballer! Who are you talking to? Oh, what? Uh, that's what I'd say. If a boy was here. <laughs> Gotta make sure my cover-up isn't flaking. Nope, horrible scar and acne is safely concealed. Uh. Walking is like a fashion show for shoes. Uh... Boys love pubescence perfume. Accentuate the awkward. Ew. Cover your lungs, everyone. I gotta crisp these bangs up with some ozone killer hairspray. Later on the game! Uh oh, girl types. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire! Fundamentals! <laughs> <laughs> Uh... Hey, basketballer! I made it bought this for you! Sweet! Watch my white layup drills! Triple double! <laughs> uh... Gotta put on some sunscreen! Ooh! SPF negative 50! This new brain creek ringtone is hot! Chugga chugga wugga, ding doodling doodling. Oh dang, was that Brain Creek? I love cheese. I mean Brain Creek. It's over. All right, all right, it's getting there, but it still needs more sugar. And by sugar, I mean grizzly deaths. Ooh, or grizzly deaths. Twelve points. Yeah, we're not gonna be getting anywhere for now. Man, I can never get enough of that sassy, injury-prone Teen Girl Squad. The only thing that could possibly make their adventures even more unfortunate would be if I used those really cool Teen Girl Squad ideas I jotted down last night after a fried chicken pizza bender. Hey, what happened to all my really cool Teen Girl Squad ideas? 
So yeah, we're not going to be getting anywhere within that either, because there's a high score for that as well. But we won't get anywhere unless we get those ideas of his that we're missing. So let's check out what we got down in the basement. Those are pennants from various academic institutions, unaccredited and discredited alike. Those are pennants. And the cheek. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, look at that thing over there. <laughs> How you doing in there, the cheat? Hey, do you kiss your hot mom with that mouth? How you doing in there? What about the washer? Only strong side seems to know the secrets of these mysterious mechanical devices. Right, what we got in here? I can't play Trogdor until someone gets Aww. off the pasty white butt and fixes the joystick. I'm working on it, but the parts are on back order. No Trogdor for us. Keep on keeping my butt print warm for me, couch. Keep on keeping my butt print. All right, TV. Hey, it's that infomercial for the Ababber 2000. It claims you can get a nine pack in less than 40 scribbles a day. Less than 40 scribbles a day? Hey, it's the Laugh Track Alicious Adventures of Guy and Girlfriend. Oh, this is the one where Guy thinks he kills girlfriend's hamster and tries to replace it with another hamster, but the first hamster had been dead all along, so girlfriend thinks he came back to life. And then the hilarity and the, the humor and the original comedy television writing. Yeah, original television writing. Hey, it's that info. God, is that really where we're at within our media? What are you doing out of the dryer? No one cares. Holy pixelated truck door. What's that? Much better. So, we pretty much explored the house of straw. Oh, wait, no, we haven't. There is one place we have yet to explore. We need to go outside. Oh, and to run, you just double click. Random box outside. Uh, no. But there's nothing under it. What do you expect? It's a box. These things are gonna be inside. Check out my snail mail, check out my snail mail. Hmm, what's this? I'm ready for the big heights. Those smoky red laser beams don't stand a chance when I'm in this getup. Hmm, I think I'll put it in my fancy schmancy trans-dimensional photo boot wardrobe. Alright, and throughout the game we will find costume pieces, which, as he mentioned, we'll be able to find a photo boot to check them out. Oh, but before we leave for the track... Getting warmer! Alright! The detector has detected something with its illegally powerful rays! I'll just leave this treasure marker here so I'll know where to dig later. Yeah, we can mark things down with our metal detector. Problem is, we won't be able to dig them up since you need a shovel. So, let's finally go off to the track. We've explored long enough. Well, we had to run into him sooner or later, folks. This is... Oh, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. This is Homestow. All right, Homestar. I'm not sure why this never occurred to me before, but some French guy said I should beat you up. And I tend to think he's right. Put up your dukes. Oh, hello, strong man. Are you here to watch the race? Wait, yeah, what about my manual? You wouldn't happen to know what happened to my Snake Boxer 5 manual, would you? I borrowed some of it from Strong Sad to read on the train. And by train, I mean toilet. Gross! But then I gave it to Marzipan for some papier machapier project she's working on. Grosser! Man, remember when game manuals used to be a fun read? Heck, remember game manuals? I swear, games don't even have them anymore unless they're the digital, but even then, they're not entertaining to read through. But I'm going off topic again. A race? You mean like a race race? Race race race? You haven't heard about the free country USA triannual race to the end of the race? 
It's only the coolest and most important sporting event in the history of sporting events I'm about to compete in ever. A race, eh? You know, beating you in a race would be almost as much fun as beating you senseless. I'd like to see it twice, dog man. I've been trading my tweets off for weeks now. And besides, Marzipan has promised me a big victory party after I win. I don't even want to know what tweets are. Uh, party? Did someone say party? Oh, heck yeah. Marzipan's putting together a huge party with floats and cake jugglers and balloon manimals and- And why was I, Lord High Awesome Party, occasionally known as Strong Bad, not invited? Whisperingly, I don't think Marzipan likes you very much. Fair enough, but continue on. Come on, that party will be deader than a million doornails without me. I'll see if I can get you on the list. Well, at least he's generous. Did someone say- Okay, yeah, he's repeating. You know, I bet I could win this race. That's cute. Keep dreaming, tiny legs. That wasn't nice. You know, I- Well, he's not gonna give us any more information. All this race talk has intrigued me. I believe I will postpone your pummeling. For now. Pummeling? Hold on, I gotta take this. Yes, Marzipan? Yes? 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 No! Yes! Yes! I miss you too, Puddin' Sack. See you after the race. Bye! Girlfriend troubles? Nah, me, bro. Marzipan just wanted my opinion on the decorations. And the cake jugglers. And the play of the lowland toad weasel. And the bid. Did it free? Well. Pardon me. I'm off to the locker room to reacquire my game face. Well then. Oh, and we gotta rank up! I've got half a mind to go over to Marzipan's and give her a piece of the rest of my mind about not inviting me to her sucko party. But where should I put her house on my map? Um... Let's put it on the corner. So yeah, while we gain awesomeness points, we will actually change our rank. Oh, and see these little percentages? You might be wondering why I'm clicking on everything. That's what one of the percentages is. And we found one of this, and we are now a midget thumb wrestler. <laughs> Man, they're being mean with that tiny legs thing. But, I know... I kind of just looked around, but that's a point-and-click game for you. That's about as much of an episode as I can get for today. And next time, we will see about this party a little more. If you guys have any random questions, pop them down in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.